Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining. We're glad to have you here. Today is Fluke Fridays, episode number 127. And what we're going to go over is the Fluke battery tester, the BT521. The battery testers, the accessories that come with it, and why you might need a battery tester if you have UPSs or uninterrupted power supplies in your facility. And we'll just jump into it. I am going to do some other videos in the future you can be looking for where I'm going to show you how to set up the battery tester, how to go through and actually use it and take the test. But today's just going to be an overview of this tester. So let's jump into it. Here is the mainframe of the BT521. All of the uh, 500 series have the exact same size model mainframe. The difference is some of the accessories you get with them. And I'll put a link below so you can really see the differences. I'll try to point out some of them. When you get it, you can turn it on with the power button and we can see right away this is set up a lot like a multimeter so you've got this rotating dial to select your different functions right and you've got memory over here all the way to this is normally what you're going to be on if you are going to do a battery test if you're going to do a single battery test you could just leave it here but a lot of times we're going to go into a sequence mode so we'll go into that in a second discharge voltage this is going to be if you're doing a, dis a discharge under load of your ups and you're going to start it go through the test, start the discharge, and then every so often in whatever time intervals do we all the batteries, test the batteries again to see how they maintain their voltage over time and whatnot. Then you got AC voltage, or DC voltage, I should say, obviously with the line and the dotted dashed line. So DC voltage, AC voltage, triple volts, auxiliary, so that would be plugging in the clamp accessory to the top so you can measure your DC current if you want to measure that. And then, as we said before, memory. I will go over how to set up a sequence and go into this mode at another time, but that's not for this video. It does have Fluke Connect, so you can stream your readings directly to your smartphone. And I believe there's an app specifically for the battery tester in addition to Fluke Connect, which I would hope at some point in the future, Fluke will combine all the different apps into Fluke Connect so that all the tools can talk directly to Fluke Connect and all the functionalities of the different apps can be through Fluke Connect. So here's the battery tester, and then here are some of the test leads you can get. This is the, some of the more advanced test leads where you can actually see on the screen. I'll plug this one in for us so we can see. Oops, snapped off the back kickstand. I can put that on later. So you can see this is a very fancy test lead. We've got, we'll go over a few of the things. So the tips are like pogo sticks. Hopefully you can see that. It's pretty close. You can see that goes in. And that's going to help us take our impedance measurement because we have to source an AC voltage through it and then test the internal resistance. So that special probe is important. A lot of the competitors out there don't have field replaceable probe tips. So you have to get back to the office or send it back into the factory. These are pretty slick because you can actually replace these in the field if you're strong enough. You pull these out. You've got your field replaceable tips. You could buy a whole bag of these, sit them right back in. Then the other thing that's nice is because of its design, you're not going to go through these tips near as fast as you will some of the competitors out there. You won't snap off these tips because they're pretty sturdy. The other thing you'll notice is here, the black test lead's got this little nub on it, or the black test probe has this little nub on it that the red one doesn't. And what is that? Well, this right here is like an infrared gun. So you think about it temperature gun it does the same thing temperature is one of those measurements is really important when doing a conductance or an impedance test because it will correlate to that resistance or conductance that you measure on the inside if we look at the probe we see both temperature and we see the different the resistance or impedance test and the AC, the dc voltage that we're going to be measuring and it's got a backlit screen if you want a backlit screen on so how will this practically work You'll go to a set of set of batteries, two different terminals, push down, it'll take a reading, boom, and then you go to the next one, next one, next one. You can also measure the straps, so the, the pieces of metal that go between two batteries, because these are going to be in series, you can measure that internal resistance or impedance as well. And with this tool, you can set up thresholds for a pass-fail test, so if it's above a certain resistance level, it could fail on you or if the DC volts is too low it could fail on you and you can do all this it's got a little strap 
you can put on it and even strap it to your side, the mainframe, and you can do it all without actually looking at this because it's going to tell you what battery in the sequence you're on right here on this test probe. So these are the original probes that you're going to get with the 521 with the temperature. Now, if you get any of the angled versions, you'll see these now have an angle on them. And why is that important? Well, if you've got, and you can see these probes are huge. I can't even get them all on the screen. They're three foot, three and a half foot long, right, from hand to, to tip. And the reason you want that angled probe is if you've got a battery bank, you got a very small gap between batteries, and you have to reach over two or three or four batteries to get to that back battery terminal to make a measurement you need you can't just go in straight right you can't go straight you got to come in and then at the end have that little tip so you can push down and that's exactly what this is so you can go over several batteries and then push down into that battery terminal if this is a battery terminal push down into that this angled probe tip is really important we're seeing more and more people use the fluke battery testers obviously fluke's known for its ruggedness when it comes to multimeters and stuff and the nice thing is this is a small portable version and it has the ability to do all the tests that people are wanting and uh you can you can do that this we can put this right back on i just pushed down too hard on it the other thing is as we complete the test it does have software to track your batteries over time one one of the areas and i hope to do a video on this that's really valuable this battery tester is hospital or healthcare because in the hospital and healthcare there's uh, NFPA 110 and the Joint Commission that is calling out that all of your backup generators, the the starter batteries for those backup generators need to be tested monthly with a tool just like this. So this can be your solution to help you stay in compliance if you're in that healthcare industry. Hopefully that's a little bit of information and enjoyable for you guys. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you've watched more than three of the videos, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see more cool flute content in the future. And we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care.